Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. It seemed like we were all just getting used to phones with high resolution cameras on them as a mundane trapping of everyday life when suddenly smartphones with not one, but two cameras started appearing everywhere. And although it may be surprising to learn that the first dual camera smartphone showed up all the way back in 2011, they didn't experience an explosion in popularity until recently. But why? Well, there is actual utility to having more than one lens on the back of your smartphone, unlike some other marketing gimmicks that try to draw you in with larger and larger numbers. So one of the most common reasons for that second camera is to give the user telephoto functionality. And that is basically exactly what it sounds like. A telephoto lens allows a photographer to zoom in on something that is further off in the distance. You see, although you can probably like pinch to zoom on your single lens smartphone, it's actually all fake. What's really happening is that the logic inside your phone is just <laughs> enlarging whatever image was already being picked up by the sensor. This is called digital zoom, and it basically shouldn't be used at all. Just take the original photo and crop it later if you need to. It is pretty much the same thing. So a telephoto lens with a longer focal length can overcome this problem, especially as it's difficult to build lenses that can optical zoom, that is to say they can be close in and far away on the fly into a smartphone. That is, unless you don't care about being able to carry it around in your pocket. So this regular lens plus telephoto setup is common on flagship phones such as the iPhone and Samsung Galaxy, but some manufacturers actually go the other way and include a wide angle lens on the secondary camera instead. You can actually learn a lot more about wide angle lenses up here, but in a nutshell, instead of being built for getting a look at distant objects, wide angle lenses allow you to take in more of a scene overall. So it's great if you wanna get a dramatic photo of a valley or cityscape, get all your friends into a selfie, or upload a pic of your apartment to Airbnb that makes it look much more spacious than it actually is. Now, still other phones put a monochrome sensor into their second camera, meaning that you can shoot in black and white. Or wait, hold on. What's the point of that when it takes about two seconds to apply a filter that will convert a color image to black and white? Ah, yes, well, black and white sensors tend to have better sensitivity to light than color ones, meaning that they perform better in low light scenarios and can produce images with less noise. Now, although many modern smartphones allow you to use the monochrome camera on its own to just take black and white photos, what's more interesting is the fact that these phones can take image data from the color sensor and the black and white sensor and then combine them to make a sharper looking color image than what you'd get with just the color sensor alone. Huawei's current lineup is notable for having this feature. And this image combining functionality is not limited to phones with monochrome cameras either. Other phones that have lenses of two different focal lengths as we discussed can actually work them together to sense depth, allowing for a blurry background depth of field or bokeh effect to be applied in software post-processing. And while this effect is not as good as you'd get with a larger standalone camera with a bigger sensor, it can still look pretty good in a pinch for a carry everywhere all the time device. Do keep in mind though, that through all of this, there are trade-offs. Typically, the second camera on a phone will be of lower quality and none of this functionality makes your phone a substitute for a higher end point and shoot or DSLR, which you can learn more about right up there. Even so, it is cool to see smartphones becoming more and more versatile when it comes to snapping photos, especially if you don't want to lug around bulky equipment in your quest to become Instagram famous. Today's video is brought to you by the Mastrop Sennheiser HD 6XX headphones. These are one of Mastrop's all-time bestsellers with over 50,000 units sold, and I don't blame a single one of you who bought them because they sound fantastic. They haven't changed the driver or sound structure compared to the HD 650s, so that means a nice balanced mid-range and natural sounding bass, and the 10-foot cable has been replaced with a detachable 6-foot one based on community feedback. It includes one eighth inch plug that is versatile enough for everyday use. You can plug it into pretty much anything and it comes with a quarter inch adapter and it also includes Sennheiser's long-term support. 
So check out the link below to join the drop and get your own pair of HD6XX headphones today. We're gonna have that linked below. So thanks for watching, guys. Dislike or like, check out our other videos. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible. And while you're down there, click that subscribe button. You know? Or you can do something else while you're down there if you're that kind of, you know, person. I don't judge. <laughs>